Okay, so in this video we shall uh, change the auto login. Now, by default, the Raspberry Pi automatically logs in as in the Pi user account. Now, we don't want to do this. We want to log in as the um, guest user account. In my case, it's the account that's called public. Now, to accomplish that, you'll have to press the start button, go to shutdown again, and you'll have to press log out. Now, my screen might do a little bit strange. Come on. Yeah, okay. You now select Pi and you now provide the password that's associated with that. I used a very short password. And once again, this this window, the VNC window, you won't see it. We then open up Pi Assistant. Ah come on. And we look for the button that says user control. We tap it once and it opens up a file called lightdm.conf. Now this is the file that stores pretty much all of the configuration that's related to the user accounts. And uh, we we'll want to scroll down in this file. It's very it's nearly at the bottom. And you look for the line that says auto login dash user is equal to pi it's this line and as you can see there's no hashtag in front of it which means that that line is activated now instead of pi you will want to type in the account name of the uh, public account in my case I've called it public but as I said before you can call it guest or visitor or whatever now there are no spaces in here whatsoever, there's no punctuation or anything, uh, but you have to take care of uh, capitalization. If you've capitalized the user account or the public user account, then you have to capitalize it in here as well. We now save it by going to File, Oops. File, and select the option Save. You can then just close everything, go back to Okay, we go to the terminal and we simply close this. And that's it. Now the Raspberry Pi shall boot into the uh, public user account. And uh, that's it. Now we will now we will have to start cloning our uh, Raspberry Pi. Uh, what that is, I will explain in the next video.